Okay, here's the feedback for section two of the mid-course exam, which was the first Spartan section. Um, the first question was very, very simple, and a lot of people didn't get full marks for it, which is um, kind of unacceptable. You can't afford to lose these kinds of marks um, in an exam at all. Um, so the question was uh, named two examples of Spartan architecture. Uh, for some people, it showed me that they just didn't know what the question was asking, and more importantly, they didn't know the dot points. So if you look in the syllabus, these are the three examples that it gives in the syllabus that you must know. And we teach a couple extras as well. So the Amaclean, the Menelaean, and the Sanctuary of Artemis Orthi is fine. If you said the temple to to um, to Helen and Menelaus, well, that is the Menelaean. So I was kind of happy to accept that. Um, if you said the temple to Athena of the city, I was happy to accept that. But some people just did not know what that question was asking and said, you know, the five villages or the port of Gothian and they're not their geographical features not um, architectural features so you need to make sure you're learning those dot points and because you, you just can't afford, you can't afford to lose easy easy marks like that next question is what was the kleros um, now most people kind of explained kind of what a kleros was but some people got a bit mixed up about land ownership so make sure you're getting that right um, you need to make sure that you're explaining the, there's a few key points that you really need to have you need to have this, that it's state-owned allotment of land, okay, um, that it's provided to each male Spartan citizen, because some people were talking about women being able to own property, and women weren't allowed to own clerosis, they owned private land, not cleroi, okay, upon completion of the Igogi, that's another point, okay, um, it was farmed by the Spartan, uh, for the Spartan, by the helots, some people didn't even have the term helots in their response, and that's ridiculous, that's really important, okay? Uh, it provided food for the Sicitia, okay? Which allowed a focus on the military and training, okay? Rather than agriculture. The remaining produce fed this party, its wife and family, who managed the chorus. Some of you got that in there, which was good, um, and was traded with the Perioki for other goods. That's a full three mark response that's it. that's probably a four out of three response and we're making sure we're getting a three out of three it's probably easy to go a little bit above and beyond and to miss easy marks okay the next question was uh, five which was marriage customs um some of you knew a little bit but a lot of you didn't know a lot which was um really to the detriment of your responses so in order, order to do well in this you needed some references to sources which were a little bit um, lacking in some of your responses okay you needed to say that marriage customs were different they were very different in, in Sparta than they were in most others okay it was about maintaining high numbers of citizens okay replenishing after you know, battle after war so they took marriage very seriously um, some of you had this point that they, they started the courting process by surveying women when they were training naked um, searching for physical attributes and, and, and those kinds of things, and also social class and wealth when choosing your mind. Um, and here's another good response. We've got Lycurgus forbade uh, dowries, but we know that they probably did happen. And there's a reference to a source here in Brennan. Okay, these are really important. If you don't have these, you're going to throw away marks. Another reference to a source here in Ball. Okay, that some um, that mothers had some say in who their daughter married. When they got married in their 20s and brides when they were ripe for and blue dark, I saw a few of those in some responses, which was good. We just need a few more. Um, husband slept in the barracks when we were 30 and visited on stealth. Um, and why that was by Brennan, uh, sorry, by Xenophon and Plutarch. Okay. Um, here's the customs themselves that marriage by abduction or kidnapping. Some of you were using really, really funny words for that. Okay. Um, lack of ceremony is another good point that you need to have in there um, and the fact that it was either real or ritualized because we don't know whether it was just a, a thing that they did as a process some of you had this kind of stuff but it was poorly expressed okay dressed in a homation shaved the bride's head those kinds of things need to be embedded into the response okay and don't focus too much on this on this homosexual aspect of it because it's not really what the markers want to read okay wife sharing needs to be explained better because some of you are not explaining that well and it's having some issues with your response so have a look at this example here but all in all some good ones but some that were not 
giving you enough depth to give you full marks for that question, then not enough sources was the, the big issue with that one. Okay, last question for this section was question um, D, which was on um, Spartan political structure. Now, this the, the, the short answer is you're not giving me enough detail in your responses, and that's having a massive impact on your ability to get marks. You really need three and a half to four pages for this kind of thing, depending on how how big your handwriting is. Um, that's really the kind of length we're looking for, around 600 words or more, okay, which is about what this one is, what this response is. You do need, I don't have them here, but you do need paragraphs. It's an essay. So you need a short two to three sentence introduction, a short two to three sentence conclusion, and paragraphs all the way through on different sections. Now, this is pretty obvious. You would have a, probably a paragraph on Lycurgus and his impact on politics, then one each on the other four sections, one on the kings, one on the Grisian, one on the Ecclesia, and one on the ephors, um, and a link to the source. Now, the source is there. If you're not using the source to, to add to your response, you're throwing away marks. Okay, now the source, I don't have it here and I haven't included it into this response because I want to do that in class with you. You've got to try and find, oh here it is, sorry. And you've got to, I know this is from a previous response, but what I want you to think about, and some of you did it quite well, was you drew out quotes from the source and embedded them into your response. Now there were quotes about the kings, there were quotes about the ephors, and there were quotes about the ecclesia that you have to try and find and put back in those relevant points. Some of you are too short, you don't, you're not including good topic sentences to really link to the question, and you're not linking it to Spartans, Sparta's military way of life and those reforms that took place and how it's different to uh, the rest of, of society. But you needed all of, and the other thing is, we've got um, lots of sources here that you're missing out on, okay? Um, loyalty of the equals, uh, monthly statements of loyalty to the equals in, in the kings, uh, Aristotle thinking that the king's power was quite limited, um, some of the roles and responsibilities of a king, um, you know, what they're allowed to do. Uh, what else have we got here? Um, Xenophon talking about um, um, the Ecclesia um, swearing to uphold, sorry, the ephors swearing to uphold the powers of the kings. Um, so we need to know and use those, those sources throughout a response, okay? Um, voting by acclamation, uh, by acclamation rather, by Thucydides. So we, if we don't have these kinds of things, these kind of references to sources, we can't get the marks that we, we're hoping to get. Um, and I know it's not written like it here, but we need to ensure that our responses are essays. Okay, I've only got it like this, so it'll fit on the one page. Okay, but if it's not clear paragraphs um, in the marking guidelines, all right, have a look here. This is part of the problem. See this one here in the response? It says he provides a well-structured response. If you're not structuring it with paragraphs, topic sentences, concluding sentences, introduction, conclusion, it doesn't fit in there. If you're not using paragraphs at all, it's not fitting in there either. Okay, you're moving down to this bracket. So effectively, if you didn't have paragraphs, that's where you're putting yourself. Okay, you're putting yourself in the one to nine bracket, you're making it really hard to be pushed up to here because there's no clear structure. All right. So that's something that you really need to think about and make sure you read this example and practice this question because I was a bit disappointed with this one because we should have done a lot better than we did.